la bioja e mare o pasuma ki bala tu ti o pe pe kini o le ba won ke ni omo o pada yani ti won gba won so ya pe mo mo no ala bioja e mare o pasuma ki bala yeah tremendous i must say cuz i'm overwhelmed with the turnout The gesture was supposed to be for 100 old people and widows but to my surprise if you look behind me we have almost 150 200 people seated so it's even though I did not prepare for I only prepare for 100 but I'm glad the turnout was more than that and I bless God for it okay like I said earlier before my birthday have always been silent cause due to the event of my both parents i mean uh, living this world 10 years interval on my birthday ever since then i've always been silent about my birthday maybe something private but with the ngo i decided to do something new as in change my story from private to actually giving back to the society so that's why i chose on my birthday to give to 100 widows widowers and old age people today well 3 months ago we went to an orphanage home in ogba in uh, ikeja uh, gra and on the same uh, incident we empowered five members of the ngo with a token of 100000 each to boost their business and privately we've done so much we've done so much privately that i mean we cannot even remember some that we've done so we've actually come a long way like i said in my introduction the ngo has been around for 10 years but kicked off officially 3 years ago and ever since then or since 10 years we've done lots of uh, events which are private but the ones that is actually coming up to the public is this one and the one we did 3 months ago at GRA yes in this occasion we actually targeted 100 and it was to be a 3 in 1 event that is we'll give them full stuff will give them cash donation and then the third one is to feed them i mean the basic necessity of life is shelter uh, hunger and one thing or the other but if in our own little way we could actually do one or two out of it i believe i mean we are moving in the right direction okay yes uh, the first one we did to identify an orphanage home we had to go around to seek one when we got one we decided to give to them the members in the group we observed them we privately visit their business and identify if they are doing well or not and then we hand pick them for blessing and for these old people gesture this is my church rema christian church and towers where i sit i know there are old people that are always seated beside behind me so we actually targeted them and gave the welfare the privilege to pick them since they know them more than we do so that was how we got to where we are at this point i mean without doubt the government is doing a lot local government state federal i mean the country itself is so big for the government a loan to take on so that is why we that can actually assist we that can actually assist in one way or the other that's why we are introducing this partnership or should we say this uh, grand gesture to cushion the effect of the effort of the government present no yes it did it cost me millions of naira but like i said it's an ngo uh you have uh, people here and there that are part of the ngo and we're looking forward to even getting more philanthropists to come and assist the ngo 
in development. We even our target is the internal international communities to come and partner with the Pride Land Group Circle of Life Foundation to put smile on people's faces. Thank you very much. Like I always tell people that are close to me, the NGO is bigger than me. We're putting up a yearly calendar event and we're recording it. And by God's grace, it's going to be events that will probably take place on each calendar every year. It will be a recurrent event and more events will even be added to it. That at the end of the day, we will have a rolled up calendar for the year for people to invest or donate to. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Folaki Alabi and I'm a proud member of the, the Pride Land Foundation Circle of Life. And we are using today's celebration to appreciate the life of my boss, director, Mr. Odun Sonkolawole, popularly known as White Lion. This has been his passion for years. He has been doing this to put smile on the faces of people. But today is special. I know people will be wondering that why the widow, why the elderly? Because they are the most neglected in our society. A lot of NGO cater for children, they cater for a single mother, and he has chosen to bless the hold and the widow that have been neglected and there is nobody that actually cater for them. My names are Mrs. Onifade Mobolaji Aino. I am an elder in this ministry. The purpose of doing this, one of our members, engineer Odunton is the one that is the one that brought this NGO unit, a pride. He brought this organization to come and bless all our widows. Not only in this headquarter, all our branches, at least so far in Lagos here. In, not even in Lagos alone. People are coming to, are here are from Shagamu to they are here. He told us that today is his bad day. So he's using this medium too to mark his birthday and to, just like he normally do in this organization, to make sure that all these place, uh, people are blessed with so many things, gift, um, food, and other uh, items that he has prepared ready for them. My name is uh, Pastor Yomi Philip from His Present Redemption Ministry. I'm here to follow my boss, that's White Lion, Mr. Odunton. We are here to give arms to the widows of 100 people. We are here to celebrate his birthday because White Lion's birthday is today, one. And two, we, he made up his mind just to call the NGO together to give arms for widows and widowers, just to assist them in the big church we have now.